Hi everyone. <clears throat> so I'm going to be clearing my throat a little bit because the allergy season is upon us and I got a high alert for um, pollen yesterday. So uh, while you were away, I put some of these little guys in and I wanted to talk a little bit about them and I did them really roughly. So one of the things that I do is I tend to like put things in and then I'll go in and redraw them based on kind of what I have done. And remember, like I'm not looking for, um, uh, I'm not looking um, for complete realism here. I'm looking for um, something to look kind of appropriate. So um, this is a great example. I wanted to have that kind of um, be evened out. One of the things that I can do is I can come in and kind of tailor that around that. Um, he has kind of rounded forms and so um, I can make those um, be reactive in that way. I'm not going to do that because I don't think that it makes sense, but I do think it makes sense up here for it to be reactive. Um, I can see that um, these guys are not necessarily placed exactly where I want them to be, <clears throat> which um, can sometimes be a pain in the butt. I'm going to come up here and um, this is under view and it says snap to guides and snap to, well, I am going to actually keep the snap to points. Um, but that allows me to be kind of a little bit more precise in my positioning and handling. Um, so I don't have to fight with it as much. Um, and that makes all the difference in the world. Um, so again, like these are really minute details. Um, and in most cases, when you get this close up to your drawing, nobody's going to see them um, when they actually look at the drawing. Um, you're going to be more frustrated with them than others. And you can see that I'm going to round this in the same way that I rounded that over here you're going to be more frustrated by them than somebody else because they're not going to see them from the distance. We're zoomed in and really close and intimate. Um, so it's a, a very different experience. Um, so the goal here is to make it look believable, not necessarily an exact replica. Um, and, and, um, and that means sometimes coming in and tweaking those curves. You know, we're doing this from, you know, a distance. Um, and so that makes, you know, a big difference. I'm going to flatten that guy out. Um, and you can see that it gets bigger to smaller because it's going away from us. Um, and, you know, like I said, I, I laid these in really quickly knowing that I was going to come back and tweak them. You can see that I want this to be looking like it's coming big to small. Um, and I am going to tweak this half so that it's flat and then move that in. You run into the situation where it, it wants to adjust both grab the anchor point and then I can grab and just manipulate that. I'm probably going to get rid of this point. I'm not sure we need it um, and I think it's just complicating my life a little bit. So sometimes you put points in there and, and they're not necessary. Um, and if we wanted to do a little bit of a curve, we could come in and do the same thing with this guy, pull a little bit of a curve and have it bend. But again, <clears throat> these are things you're not going to see from a distance. Um, so you can see how much that little tweak um, made. And then I'm going to come in and do the same thing here. And I'm going to try to think about like how far I had things positioned in other in other situations, the one that I was just doing, um, and so how I manipulated that. If 
because you can shoot for realism, but, um, you know, I think you have to find a happy medium <clears throat> uh, in, in all instances here. Um, because <clears throat> Illustrator allows for a certain look. Uh, one of the reasons why I draw the Illustrator, uh, or one of the reasons why I draw the Star Wars uh, as my examples is, number one, my husband and I love Star Wars, um, and we're not afraid to admit it. And number two, um, I think they lend themselves. And there, number three, there's a ton of content out there for me to find photographs of toys um, that have been photographed. Um, and you can see that I'm just like kind of mindlessly cleaning up. I'm not even like really discussing these with you guys, which I feel bad about. Um, but you can see how I'm kind of controlling those. And when I zoom out, how much better it will look um, in relationship to the other parts. I think this is actually too dark. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to select this gray. And then I'm going to drop it down a couple. Um, that, oops, maybe a little bit more. And that feels better for me. You know, remember, you can pick the wrong gray. <clears throat> and in doing that, you're going to end up having um, something that feels a little bit off. So we're going to just move this guy up. So we can kind of e make this even. You can see that that curve is a little bit off. So I'm going to straighten it out and just super easily like curve it around. Um, I'm going to drop this point down just because it makes sense with some of the other things that I've done. Um, and to be honest, I'm kind of happy with where this is. I'm probably going to leave it alone. I don't think it needs any more messing with. Um, nobody's going to register this detail except for me. And if they do, they'll pick it up in the progress critique. Now, since we changed this gray over here, we're going to just grab that gray. Now, once we've got those elements in, we're then going to like create a layer. And I made that, by the way, my own layer. Um, while you guys were gone, I started drawing. So I want to start drawing these kind of little line elements that are, are happening. And to be honest, I want them to happen underneath my orange layer. So I'm going to come under layer 3 to add my layer. And I'm just going to title it Line Work. Uh, oops. And we've just been... Um, bottom uh, body. Let's just let, make sure that we name all of these as we're moving through. And to be honest, we could put everything on these gray elements, but we're not going to. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm on my line work. I'm just going to start like chugging away at it. And because it has my its own layer, I can like go further than this line needs to go. And one of the things I want to start having you do is this would be the top of the hill in my drawing um, using that method that we've talked about. But um, I would ask that you just start um, pushing yourself to um, draw, not thinking about the top of the hill. Now. Now that I think about it, I am going to have to have another layer of line work that goes on top of the orange. But for now, I can just start laying these in. And one of the things that I can do is, and I'm going to I have all my things over here pulled to the side. Um, I want to make sure that I have all of my end caps for something like this rounded. Um, so make sure that you're thinking about you know, those those tools that are available for you. And you can see that it's already doing it for me um, naturally because I um, it was the last thing that I did. And then we're going to go in and we're going to do these guys. 
once I have one, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually look at the stroke weight that I have. Once that I have one, um, all I can, all I have to do to duplicate that for that smaller one is double click, and then I'm gonna make it, let's say, 70% of that, and then I'm gonna have it copied, and you can see, and 70% isn't quite enough, so I'm gonna hit Command Z. Um, I'm gonna double click on that again, and let's make it 55%. Um, Oops, Command Z. Um, make sure you hit copy. 55%, and then I'll come down here and copy. And then I'm not having to redo that. So it makes getting those um, really easy, especially now that we know how big um, we're, or how much we're going to scale those. We're going to 50, and then we're going to come down to copy. Um, so really think about the tools and how they can help you um, work smarter. Um, these guys are we're going to have to twist a little bit. And let's see if our scale is going to work for them. And it seemed to. The other thing about keeping these all in the same layer is if they're on the same layer, then if I decide to make every one of them like <laughs> a little bit smaller um, in terms of um, their scale, it's not a, or in terms of uh, their line work, it's not a big deal. Um, oops, didn't have that one selected. This might be a tough one considering how close those are. Um, I'm going to bring that down to a 0.5 because the idea is that it's getting further away from us so it would of course be smaller. I'm going to actually ignore this one. We don't have to have everything in there. <clears throat> I just realized I was putting these guys in and they need to be on top so we'll probably deal with this line later. I'm just going to do do and I'm going to hit copy. Now I think I just dropped those down to 0.5 so I want to consider moving those back up. Here's another guy. I'm going to rotate it a little bit, thin him out. Um, we have these three lines here. What we're going to do, um, and it's still doing the rounded. <clears throat> and because we're doing these kind of quick, uh, we might have to like come back and tweak them after we see them. Um, um, we're able to get a good view on them because um, we're not really getting great views here. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time because I don't want these to go over 30 minutes. I want you guys to be able to um, depend that they're about 30 minutes. I would normally do smaller videos um, but um, obviously um, it doesn't make sense. All right so let's go on to since we're going to have to push all of these on top of our orange let's go ahead and do that so we can see how they look on the orange. The other thing about doing this is that it allows me um, to, uh, you can see we need to pull this guy back. 
we can pull him back into that gray line and it will seamlessly um, work together. Another reason, um, one another thing that's kind of nice about, um, totally lost my train of thought. Sorry. Oops, we're going to get rid of that. And remember, we did our color, uh, we did our swatches. And I'm going to drag that over. So this is our line weight. Oops, I'm going to flip that and then get rid of the center color. Now, um, each one of these points, remember, we can do this curve. Um, <clears throat> this is this is going to need to be popped up a little bit. Um, now that I have it uh, kind of working. And then I'll just drag these points down. Oops. And again, it's not an exact replica. Um, we're not worried about that. So I'm going to end this here. And then I'm going to show you the rest of this video um, with all this line work in, or not the rest of this video, but I'm going to show you this with the rest of the line work in. And you can see um, what it looks like. Um, and then we'll start ta tackling the head. Thanks.